In this video we're going to look at how you can work out the terms in quadratic sequences. This first question says work out the first five terms of the sequence with the nth term 3n squared plus 4n. Now that means that we are going to have to replace the n with the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 in turn to work out the first five terms of the sequence. This seems fairly straightforward, but you just have to remember one key crucial thing, which is your, your laws of bid mass, or your order of operations. We must do the squaring first, before we multiply by 3, and then we must add on 4 lots of the n number. So let's start with what happens when n equals 1. Well, when n equals 1, we get 3 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1. So let's work that out. Well, we must do the squaring first. 1 squared is 1. So on the next line down, I've just replaced 1 squared with its, its answer. 1 squared is 1. Everything else stays the same. And now I need to do the multiplying here and here. So I get 3 plus 4. And my first term in this sequence is 7. If we try now the second term, when n is equal to 2, we must replace the n with the 2. Notice how it's been replaced in each position. So this one here was a 1 and has now become a 2. That's because the formula says we must do 3 lots of n squared. And the, likewise, this 1 here has become a 2 in my second formula because the, at the end of the formula here we must do 4 times n so it's 4 times 1 in that case and then 4 times 2 in this case. Let's work out that squared first 3 times 4 like that 2 squared is 2 times 2 it's 4 and then if we work out these multiplication bits first we get 12 plus 8, which is 20. You can use a similar method for n equals 3. And I probably won't do 4 and 5 because you'll get the idea. 3 times 3 squared plus 4 times 2. That's going to make 9. So we get 3 times 9 plus 4 times 2. Just notice each time I'm just working out the squared first, leaving everything else the same. Then I can do the multiplication. 3 9s are 27, and I've made a mistake. Made a mistake here. That should be a 3. OK, let's just see what mistake I made. The mistake I made was not changing the n number at the end here. So I used 1, then I used 2, and then I tried to use 2 again, but it should have been a 3. 4 times 3 is 12. And so the third term that I get is 27 plus 12, which is 39. If you carry on that working, when n equals 4, you'll get 3 times 16, which is 48. And then you get 4 times 4, which is 16. So that's going to make 48 plus 16, which is, what's that, 60, 74, 64. Sorry, being a bit slow there. And then when n equals 5, you can check that you would get this. You get 3 times 25, which is 75. And then you get 4 times 5, which is 20, which is 95. So the first five terms of your quadratic sequence will be 7, 20, 39, 64, 95. Now you can always check that a quadratic sequence, you've worked out the terms correctly. If you look at the differences here, you get 13, and then you get 19, and this next one is 25, and this next one is, what's that, 31. 
Now that doesn't look particularly special, but the thing about a quadratic sequence is that if you then find the difference between those numbers, it should be a constant. So 13 to 19 is 6, 19 to 25 is 6, and 25 to 31 is 6. You can always check because quadratic sequences have a constant. We call this the second difference between the terms. So not the difference between the terms, but the difference between those differences. A constant second difference. Let's have a look at a second example, just really quickly. What happens if you've got the sequence which starts with 2n squared minus 3n? So let's try what happens when n equals 1. You get 2 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1. That 1 squared we know stands for 1. And then if you work these out, you get 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. For the second term, you have to do 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2. 2 squared is 4. And therefore we get 8 minus 6, which is 2. When n is 3, we're going to get 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times 3. That 3 squared is 9. Oh, I've done a sort of second step there already. I worked out the 3 squared, and by mistake, because I was doing it quickly, I also worked out that 3 times 3. So we get 18 minus 9, which is 9. When n is 4, you're going to get, that's 2 16s minus 12, so that's 32 minus 12, which is 20. And for n equals 5, you're going to get 2 times 5 squared minus 3 times 5. Two five, well, 5 squared is 25, 2 of those is 50. Minus 15 makes 35. Let's just check that I've got those numbers correct. So my numbers were minus 1, 2, 9, 20, 35. If I do the difference, that's 3, 7, 11, 15. And the second difference here is 4, 4, 4. So I know I've worked out my numbers correctly.